Hello, welcome. Today is November 18th, 2019, and I'm here to do our daily check-in, so let's begin. If you're wearing headphones, please lower the volume. Okay. So I hope everyone had um, a good weekend. Um, I am still sick, guys. Okay, but I'm I'm getting better. You know. So let's go ahead and see what is the general overall energy of this masculine collective for today, and what is the general overall energy of our divine feminine collective for today. What is the general overall energy, please, spirit? For masculines, we have Fish Chakra, Archangel Gabriel, but it came up in reverse. So I really feel like for this masculine collective, uh, you know, they have an issue with communication, okay? So I don't know if you guys... Uh, had that heart-to-heart -heart conversation over the weekend, but now they're shutting down, right? Um, I feel like they have some blockages here. Uh, this is a number 39, which reduces to a 12, so that's a 3. So not willing uh, to work on the situation, from what I can see here. Um, I like to read from the book and see what this fifth chakra says, um, just to see if there's any additional information in regards to this energy. This card reverse often indicates significant blocks in the throat center. Something in your history may have caused you to shut down, but it's important now to break through that unhealthy pattern. Or you may currently be in a situation where the free sharing of your ideas, opinions, or feelings is being thwarted. In addition to the fear of self-expression, this card reverse could indicate physical throat problems you know what, I might be the divine masculine for today because I'm still having throat issues, guys, okay? <laughs> as all the throat cards, I mean, as all the chakra cards reverse may signal difficulties in that area of the body. The physical trouble may be connected to the blocked energy in that chakra, so it's more important to work on clearing that energy in the center involved. To clear the throat chakra, call upon Gabrielle and meditate on his power blasting through any blocks. See your throat center spinning with a beautiful blue light. Muster up the courage to speak your truth to yourself and to those around you. It's time to let go of any old fear of confrontation and stand up for yourself from now on, okay? So this is actually really beautiful, you know. Um, you know, divine masculines, I feel like, you know, they're just blocking their throat. I mean, and this could be a physical thing, you know. Possibly some masculines could be sick also, from what I can gather, okay? So for feminines... We have angel of strength, but it's in reverse, okay? So, feminines, I feel like, you know, you're losing strength, courage, you know, determination to move forward, possibly because this masculine has cut off communication with you, if you guys have been in communication. But if you haven't been in communication, I really feel like for this masculine feminine collective, you know, you still have some things that you need to work on and heal from I can see. And mind you guys, okay, Mercury goes direct this week, okay, in a couple of days, Mercury goes direct, so that's, that's wonderful, guys, I can't wait, <laughs> to be honest, so, I would like to read uh, from the book and see what this angel string says, and we have here number 50, okay, so that reduces to a 5, so, there is some change that needs to occur for this feminine to get out of this energy, 
okay so that they can move forward so let me go ahead and see what this, this says This card reverse indicates that you are not perceiving the truth of your own power. Perhaps you're even seeing yourself as weak or ineffectual. The situation you find yourself in may seem overwhelming, but you absolutely do have the strength to see it through to a successful outcome. Don't fall into, into any old patterns of giving away your power. When you let others define you or make decisions on your behalf, you take yourself out of the picture of your own destiny creation. Meditate on the brilliant, vibrant light of this angel and recall the eternal power that surges through your life. It's time to take back control, okay? So, feminines, if your masculine has put you down in any way, okay, if you guys had that argument, okay, or, or something that has happened, and, um, you know, they're just taking your energy away. Take your energy back, okay? Don't let the things that your masculine is saying that is possibly negative to, to pull you away from your true strength and power because you're a very powerful person. That is why your words might hurt your masculine, and that's why this masculine isn't able to, you know, speak or communicate clearly or effectively to their feminine, okay? So I feel like, you know, both divine counterparts, they're not in a very good energy right now, okay? Both of you guys need to work on healing yourself first and moving forward and getting out of this energy, okay? So let me go ahead and see what is the underlying energy of this divine masculine towards their feminine and what is the underlying energy of this feminine towards their masculine what is the underlying energy please spirit what is the underlying energy of this masculine and feminine collective Masculines, we have purpose. You possess the determination and dedication to consciously demonstrate love. Okay, so I really feel like this masculine has some sort of purpose, you know, when it comes to their feminine, okay? And I see here green. They're trying to open up their heart chakra and really express this to feminine, but they can't communicate this clearly, okay? That is the feeling that I'm getting here. You know, they, they do possess the determination and dedication to show love, okay? But they just can't speak it. They can't express it. Okay, that is the feeling that I'm getting. And for feminines, you have patience. <laughs> You're able to let the universal energy of transformation move according to its own loving rhythm. So feminines, okay, you're being patient in a situation. You might have lost a little bit of strength, okay, when it comes to your masculine, but just know your masculine, okay, possess the purpose and determination to demonstrate their love. They just can't express it, okay, at least not clearly. And like I said, Mercury in retrograde, you know, goes direct on the 21st of this month. So a few more days, okay, divine masculines and feminines. Yeah, that's what I'm seeing here. So let me go ahead and pull some additional energies, okay, and see. What is the energy of this masculine towards their feminine, okay? What is the overall energy of this masculine towards their feminine? And what is the overall energy of this feminine towards their masculine? What is the overall energy here, please, spirit, of this masculine and feminine collective for today? For masculines, we have visionary capacity to envision what is not yet conceivable to others, willingness to, uh, to proclaim a vision without regard for personal gain. 
you know, guys, this is actually a really beautiful card, you know. This masculine knows that they have a purpose when it comes to feminine. And, you know, they do have that love. They want to demonstrate it, but they just can't express it. Their communication about how they feel is still a little bit challenging, okay? But as far as how they're visioning, you know, um, you know the connection towards their feminine, I feel like, you know, they can see very clearly about what, you know, what is to come in the future between you two, okay? That is the feeling that I'm seeing here. Yeah, and, you know, they're not being selfish, you know, uh, when it comes to this connection. They they see very clearly, okay, feminines? So just because your masculine can't communicate clearly doesn't mean that they don't love you, okay? Or they didn't express, you know, um, their feelings. I know deep down inside that this masculine does deeply care for their divine feminine, okay? It's just, they just have an issue with expressing it through communication, okay? That is the feeling that I'm seeing here. And so for feminines, we have goddess, the feminine expressed through wisdom, nature, life force, and sensuality. Ooh la la, feminines, you are this goddess. You know, I really feel like, you know, you have patience. You embody, um, you know, this empress spirit for I can feel. Um, not only that, also, you know, the high priestess, you know, I, I, I feel a little mixture of both. And um, even though that, you know, you lack uh, some strength in pursuing this connection, you know, I really feel like, you know, you are maintaining your composure when it comes to your masculine because you are patient. But, you know, right now, I just feel like you lack the strength, you know, because of this non-communication, you know, coming from your masculine of not really expressing their feelings towards you. It's really, you know, um, you know, taking your energy back. So just reclaim your energy feminines, okay? And just be patient while your masculine, you know, works on their throat chakra so that they can open up and express, you know, how they feel towards you, okay? That is the feeling I'm getting. So let me go ahead and see. What is the overall energy of this masculine towards their feminine? How are they currently thinking about their divine counterpart? How are they feeling? What is it that this masculine wants to do towards their feminine? What are the actions they're wanting to take? What is the current challenge? And what is the outcome? Overall, we have here nine of swords, okay? So I feel like it's role reversal, okay? Last week, feminines, they were feeling anxious. And today, divine masculines, they're feeling the same. So you guys are definitely mirroring each other, okay? This masculine is trying to see through, you know, the illusions that they've created in their mind about their, their worry, their anxiety, the stress that they have, you know, in their current situation when it comes to communicating to their feminine. I feel like they're all in their head. Hence the reason we have your visionary. Now, their uh, thoughts, you know, for the future or making these plans or decisions, um, I feel are very genuine. But, you know, this masculine doesn't know how to express it, okay? That is what I'm feeling, you know. Wow. And here we have the four of cups, but, you know, and I see that this masculine, they're not happy with any third party situations and they're not happy that they're not communicating clearly to their feminine, okay? This masculine is all alone, okay? And doing a lot of deep reflection or thinking, okay, um, about love, okay? They feel like they've lost everything, guys, okay? That is why this masculine is really worried and stressed out for today. That is what I'm seeing. And they want to release their feminine, you know, uh, from feeling like they're being trapped, that is, that is the feeling I'm getting here. Feminines, I mean, you have the angel strength, but it's in reverse. 
you really need to change that energy because uh you know you can break free from this and i see that this masculine wants to help in the situation but what happens is that this masculine needs to express it through communication they need to open up you know and talk to their feminine and also we have here the three of cups you know i really feel like this masculine has made a decision okay to really choose this feminine you know this masculine okay that i'm telling today they they don't care about third party situations okay so if your masculine was in a karmic situation i feel like this masculine has detached from the karmic okay and they're really by themselves and um you know they're they're not paying attention to you know other distractions okay they're just focused on the feminine from what i can see because I, I really see that here they want to release their feminine from feeling stuck in the situation okay and also we have here the seven of cups and you know this masculine is really thinking about their feminine okay you know they're thinking about you you're in their minds okay but they just have that problem with communicating okay not really telling you how they feel how they think about you you know they're just keeping it all to themselves and it's about like this ten of pentacles you know like having a long-term legacy you know or you know or just a partnership you know that that lasts and you know i really feel like you know i really feel like you know they they want this with you feminines okay that is the feeling that i'm getting here with this masculine and even if they had to seek, you know, um, the approval from like a father figure or mother figure, I feel like it doesn't matter. Okay. Um, I really feel like this masculine really wants to push forward. Okay. And, and come back and offer you, you know, something more because I see that they have a purpose. They want to demonstrate their love towards you feminine. It's just this masculine. They're all in their head about doing it. Like, how, how can they do this without fucking shit up? Okay, that's the feeling I'm getting. And then finally, we have here, you know, the Ace of Wands. They want a passionate new beginning. They want to take action. They, they want this, okay? That is the feeling that I'm getting so far for this masculine. So, how is this masculine currently feeling towards their feminine? Or how, how are they thinking about their feminine? We have here the Queen of Cups, but it's in reverse, okay? I feel like, you know, how this masculine is thinking is that they want to deliver some news to this feminine about how they're feeling, you know? And they could be doing this through dreams, okay? Through telepathy, if they're not communicating with their, their actual throat, right? You know, it, it could be text messaging, but they're thinking about, you know, telling the feminines how much they really care, okay? That is what they're thinking, guys. So how are they feeling? This is the Six of Wands. I mean, Six of Swords. This mask ooh, wants to leave the past behind and move forward. Okay? They want to move forward towards calm, peaceful waters. I feel like this mask is thinking about you a lot late at night, guys. Okay? That's the feeling that I'm getting here. They want to they wanna come towards you, feminines. They want to be with you. They want to make things right. So if you guys had some sort of like disagreement or argument, okay, over the past weekend, you know, um, or if you guys haven't been in communication, I really feel like this masculine knows that they need to open up their throat chakra and communicate this, okay? Because that's how they're feeling. They want to make peace with their feminine. They want to come back, okay, and get you and, and get out of the past energy and move forward. So, what is this mask going to do towards the connection? King of Cups. Exactly. This masculine wants to reveal their feelings towards their feminine, guys. Okay? This masculine has been holding back their true feelings, you know? And I see here the king and queen of pen I mean, king and queen of cups here in this spread. This masculine wants to offer their love to you, feminines, Okay? That is what I'm seeing. And then, what are the actions is this masculine going to do about this energy? We have the Seven of Swords, but it's in reverse. <laughs> this masculine is no longer wanting to be sneaky. They want to come forward with their truth. 
okay? They, I feel like this masculine, you know, uh, is wanting to approach you feminines, okay? They're not going to feed you with any kind of deception or lies, okay? I feel like this masculine really wants to, you know, tell you that, you know, they're like a little undecisive or indecisive about expressing, you know, their feelings. They know they've broken your heart. They could have betrayed you, but I feel like they're, 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 they've made that decision to come forward and offer you their truth about how they really feel, okay? That is what I'm seeing, because this masculine does definitely seize a future with this feminine. They want, you know, this long-term commitment with you, okay? So, what is the challenge? We have the sun, but it's in reverse, okay? The challenge here is uh, to get out of the darkness, okay? So that you can uh, see things clearly, okay? That's what I'm feeling for this masculine. You know, this masculine, you know, they're not, they're seeing things. How do I explain this? They're getting downloads from the divine, okay? They're, they're getting, like, you know, information. And I feel like they're processing it right now, okay? That's the feeling that I'm getting from this masculine. So the challenge is that, you know, this masculine needs to receive, you know, that information and transmute it or change it to something positive and actually take action and moving forward with, you know, this information that they have received, that is the feeling that I'm getting here. And so what is the outcome with this masculine? We have here the page of wands, okay? And do you see that? That's like the phoenix rising from the ashes. It's on fire. And I really feel like this masculine is wanting, you know, to communicate, okay? They have gone through like an ending of some sort. And they want to communicate, okay? That is what I'm seeing. I feel like this masculine had to take a step back, you know, try to think, you know, how to communicate clearly to their feminine before reaching out and communicating with you, okay? That is the feeling that I'm getting. So, I mean, overall, that's actually pretty good, guys, okay? So, for feminines, what is your overall energy towards your masculine, okay? What is your overall energy towards your masculine? How are you thinking about your divine other? How are you feeling towards them at this time? What is it that you want to do in a connection? What are the actions you're wanting to take? What is your current challenge? And what is the outcome? We have the Hierophant, okay, so I really feel like you have either, like, um, you know, learned something new, okay, about the situation, okay, you know, and also, you want something more traditional, for I can feel, you know, with this masculine, their overall energy, here is this Nine of Swords, okay, so this masculine is stressed out possibly about like you know this a long-term offer this commitment you know possibly this feminine has you know expressed you know to their masculine that they want something long term they want something solid they don't want to settle for the back and forth if you're not going to invest into this i'm going to keep moving you know i'm not going to hold back you know uh life goes on okay and that's what this feminine i feel like is expressing to your masculine there had to be some sort of change there has to be, you know, some sort of reciprocity um, from what I can feel and balance, okay? And this feminine is willing to work on a situation. That is the feeling I'm getting here. And they are waiting, you know, planting those seeds, you know, waiting, you know, for, for the harvest, you know, uh, to to actually come into fruition because I saw on the, on the masculine side we have the ten of pentacles so this feminine is willing to work with this divine masculine if this masculine would open up and communicate how they truly feel towards the feminine okay like real honest communication and 
I see here the Empress. Okay, so feminines, I feel like you are in your, you know, full power. You know, being, you know, uh, completely uh, solid in all areas uh, of your energy. And you know, I feel like you know you bring so much to the table towards this masculine, and um, you know because that this masculine is not able to communicate you know, how they really feel about this commitment towards you. I feel like, you know, you are still, you know, sitting there, okay, trying to maintain your integrity, um, your your willingness, your, you know, just like, you know, trying to be strong. Because here we have the angel strength. Your masculine has, you know, really kind of weighed you down with their actions. And their action is not communicating with you. Okay, and I feel like that puts a little damper in, in your energy, but I feel like feminines, I mean, you have patience to persevere through this because you have dealt with this energy from your masculine. This is a, a new news, okay? You, you've, you've been through this before with your masculine, and I see that, you know, you know, your masculine may, you know, come and, and give this offer to you, but it's going to come in slow, Okay. And I feel like, feminines, you're just going to take a time out to reflect on, you know, what is happening in your life. I feel like you're going to put more focus on yourself if this masculine isn't willing to come forward and, you know, and communicate clearly about their feelings, okay? That is why, you know, in the first card here, your back is turned from this masculine. You expect communication. That is what I'm feeling. Okay, until this masculine opens up and communicates clearly to the feminines about their feelings. You know, I, I think feminines, I, I think you're going to hold your own and um, and just keep moving forward with, um, you know, without your masculine. Because you're a goddess. Okay, that is what I'm seeing. And it shows up again here in the underlying energy. You're a goddess. You know, you don't have to take this kind of, you know, non-communication, you know, and think that, oh, okay, well, I guess I'll talk to you in the 5D, you know, just to figure out, like, what it is that you want to uh, express, right? <laughs> anyway, so feminines, how are you currently thinking about your masculine? We have the full. You want a brand new beginning, you know, with your masculine. Once this masculine comes to you with their, their communication of actually, you know, talking to you, that is when you're ready for this new beginning. That That's all you want. You know, I feel like this is a continuation from last week's reading where feminines, you know, all you want is communication, clear, honest, truthful communication coming from your masculine. You know, and all it has to deal with their feelings. How do they feel towards their feminine? This feminine, you know, they deserve to be loved because they love themselves. And if this masculine isn't wanting to, you know, give the love that this feminine really deserves and reciprocate how much this feminine has been giving that love towards their masculine, because this isn't no unrequited love thing, okay? It, you're in or you're out, you know? <laughs> you know, because I feel like this feminine has really worked on themselves in order to move forward, okay? So this masculine sees that the future with this feminine they just lack that courage, okay, to open up and communicate. And that's what I'm seeing. But I do see that this masculine will, okay? So the energy is still coming through even for today. So, feminines, how do you feel towards your masculine? We have death, okay? You know, you have gone through a transformation uh, dealing with your masculine in terms of how you're feeling. There was an ending of the old way of you loving on your masculine, okay? Now, this is the new and improved divine feminine because you are a goddess, okay? You're not going to give more into the situation if your masculine isn't going to reciprocate that. And I also feel that for this feminine, you're going to love anyways. Regardless if your masculine, you know, reciprocates that love or not, I feel like feminines, you still have love for your masculine, but you're not going to give your energy towards them. Okay, you can love your masculine from afar. You can love them without, you know, giving your energy towards it. Okay, and that's what I'm seeing. And then, f what does this uh, feminine want to do towards their masculine? We have four of wands. Okay, this feminine wants union. They want to come together and celebrate with their masculine. Okay. You know, feminines, you know, you want stability. You're, you're ready for something long-term. You're ready for a commitment. 
you know that's what i'm saying feminists you are ready for a fresh new start you have transformed yourself because you have really worked on yourself and all you need is the divine counterpart who can match your energy okay you know even if it's not a hundred percent if they can at least communicate with you how they feel you're willing to put in the work because i've seen that here in the underlying energy you're willing to put in the work and, and see you know with patience and planning and see how things you know grow you know because i've seen that on the masculine side ultimately they want the ten of pentacles with their feminine from what i can see this masculine needs to open up their heart okay because they, they know they have a purpose and they possess the determination, dedication to consciously demonstrate their love. They need to demonstrate love to their feminine. They need to communicate this to their feminine. Okay, that is what I'm seeing here. In order for this dynamic to work, if you want your Ten of Pentacles, you can't do it without expressing it, right? <laughs> That's what I'm feeling. So feminines, what are your actions towards your masculine? We have Ten of Swords, okay? You are feeling backstabbed, betrayed, feeling left for dead here, okay? Um, feel like you can't go on, okay? But I feel like, you know, this masculine with the Seven of Swords energy in reverse, I feel like this masculine is going to come and give you the truth, okay? And you know that this is going to be the end. Okay, it's going to be the end of the betrayal, end of the heartbreak, end of the lies, the deceit, the manipulation that this masculine may have, you know, brought to this connection between you two. This masculine wants to get out of the past. Okay, so I feel like this masculine is willing and ready to communicate what has happened. Now, I really feel like this masculine may say some hurtful things. Okay just to cover up their ego okay guys because this masculine you know when it comes to their pride they, they don't want to completely you know go there okay that's what i'm feeling for some masculines they may still you know tell their feminines like you know i really didn't love you okay like um i just didn't have those same feelings that i have for you you know and they're putting up a guard, guys, okay? They're just doing it because they don't they don't want to, you know, get hurt, okay? They're putting up a wall. But what I'm feeling is that this masculine is going to say that, you know, I, I do miss you and um, I didn't mean to do this to you. I do want to work things out, you know, because I do miss you. It's going to be something like that, okay? Because this masculine does not want to, you know, come out and put all of their feelings out on the table. I feel like, you know, just as a sense of secu uh, security for this masculine, I feel like that's what's going to happen. But I do see that this masculine is going to come forward with their truth, okay? Now, they may say that, you know, um, you know, this is what has happened, you know. I went through a situation... I'm sorry that I left you for the karmic, you know, it didn't work out, you know, and while I was with them during this whole time, I was still thinking about you, you know, I still thought about the things I've done, you know, towards you while I was with the karmic situation, and I'm, I'm really sorry, you know, more than anything, it really hurt me so much that, you know, I, I went through that, and I, I feel, you know, like, a lot of shame, a lot of guilt, and I'm just sorry, I'm so sorry that I put you through that, okay, that's the feeling that I'm getting with this energy here, okay, so feminines, what is your challenge, we have here the knight of swords, okay, your challenge is to communicate quickly to your masculine, okay, and also holding back, you know, don't, don't communicate to your masculine in a quick way where you're not really thinking too clearly. You have to think before you speak, feminines, because sometimes I know how you are. You, you communicate while you're angry, okay? You communicate when um, you're not in, in the right place, where you're not feeling peaceful or calm in a situation. So, you know, if this masculine, you know, um, communication isn't too clear, because mind you, 
their fifth chakra is in reverse. They don't know how to communicate clearly. So that's why I see here with this seven of swords in reverse. They're going to come out with their truth, but they may not communicate that too clear. Okay, but they're trying, guys, okay? Because I see that they want to offer their love. They have so much love for you, feminines. It's crazy. They really see you as their other half, okay? Feminines, I see that you just want a new beginning. You want stability. You want a partnership. And you're going to get hurt by, you know, the past actions that your masculine may communicate to you, okay? Um, but your challenge is not to communicate back in a very harsh way manner okay that is what i'm seeing so what is the outcome for this feminine towards your masculine ah we have the will of fortune okay all right ending of cycles so that there is a new cycle and this happens once this masculine reaches out and communicates to you okay this masculine has changed they've gone through a rebirth from what i can see and so i feel like for this a uh, divine masculine feminine collective you guys will communicate, okay? And I feel like it's a continuation from last week's reading that I did. You guys will communicate and you will move forward, okay? You will get all this energy. So that's what I'm seeing here so far. So let me go ahead and see. What else? How is this masculine really feeling towards her feminine? Okay, what additional tidbits of information? The spirit want to let us know about this masculine's feelings towards their feminine. How are they feeling, spirit? We have honeymoon. Look at that. Enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. And guys, here in the United States, you know, we are about to have our Thanksgiving, okay? And I feel like that's next week on Thursday. So, like, another, like, week or up to two weeks, I believe. Let me look at the calendar here. Yes, I believe it's the 28th. Let's see, one, two, three, four. Wait, one, two, three. Yeah, the 28th of November. Okay, I feel that, um, that that is when our holiday is. So that's almost two weeks from now, a little less than two weeks. This masculine is wanting to enjoy the bliss of holiday time together with their feminines, guys, okay? That is what I'm seeing. And also, oh, we have children. Your love life is being affected by children. So I really feel like, you know, with this masculine, they want to let you know, you know, that, you know, children are also involved in this situation when it comes to this divine union between you and your masculine. But more than anything, this masculine, you know, wants to spend holiday time with their feminine guys, okay? That is what they're thinking. So if you guys have been in communication, I really feel like you guys will work things out, okay, guys? So if you had a little moment... It will work out. It's going to be positive. And if you guys have not been in communication, I really feel like it's taking, you know, a little time for this masculine to come out with their truth. Okay, but I definitely see that communication is coming through, you know, for this uh, masculine feminine collective. Okay, so that's what I'm seeing here so far. So, feminines, how are you feeling towards your masculine at this time? Where are the additional energies of this feminine's feelings towards their masculine at this time? How are you currently feeling towards your masculine divine feminine? Heart-to-heart -heart conversations. Honestly, discuss your feelings with each other. Feminines, you know, I really feel like you really want to communicate with your masculine. I feel like if this feminine doesn't receive communication, she's, you know, he or she is going to keep on rolling, okay? They're going to keep moving on with their life, and they're not going to hold themselves back because their masculine can't communicate to them clearly. That is the feeling that I'm getting here, okay? And also... We have passion. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. So, feminines, you know, you want to, uh, you know, let your masculine know you still have feelings for them. You have passion. 
okay? You want this intimacy with your masculine, you know, and you could possibly already know that children, you know, are a factor between you and, and your divine counterpart. And, you know, you probably want to spend time with your, you know, divine masculine around the holidays, from what I can see. But you really want to have this heart-to-heart -heart conversation. You have this passion still burning for your masculine. And you just want to meet them halfway. You know, that's the feeling that I'm getting here. Wow. So, let me go ahead and see. What is uh, the guidance for this masculine? Okay. What is the guidance for this masculine energy? And what is the guidance for this feminine energy? What is the guidance here, please, Spirit, when it comes to this masculine and feminine? What is their guidance? Thank you, Spirit. For masculines, surrender to the wisdom of your body. Listen to your body's messages about a person or situation. If you feel physically drained or uncomfortable, be cautious. If you are energized and happy, move forward. Exactly. You know, if you know if someone is so draining of your energy, you know, listen to your body. Okay, detach. That is toxic. Okay, but if someone makes you happy and joyful. And, and you feel positive, embrace that person, okay, that is, that is the right person, you know, that is, you know, going to uplift your, your uh, energy for I can feel, so masculines, surrender to the wisdom of your body, okay, that is what I'm seeing here, so for feminines, surrender to receiving support and love, this is beautiful, guys, I like this card, Allow the love and support of others in, rather than trying to handle everything yourself. This can take the pressure off and simultaneously nurture you. So, feminines, if you're trying to do everything on your own, you know, if someone is there to offer you support and love, accept it. Receive it. Don't be too stubborn that, you know, you have to do everything on your own. You know, like, that extra little help coming from, you know, someone else you know, that person is there to help you, so, you know, accept it, you know, and be open to receive, okay, don't be so hard on trying to micromanage everything, <laughs> y'all know who you are, okay, <laughs> all right, so, let me go ahead and close out this reading with an angel answer message, and see what is the guidance from the holy angels, Okay, when it comes to this masculine energy, and what is the final guidance message coming from the Holy Angels, please, Spirit, towards the feminine? What is the guidance message for this masculine or feminine collective, please? For masculines, remain positive, okay? Just remain positive in this situation. And, you know, continue to really work on yourself. Open up your throat chakra and communicate. It's not that hard to communicate, but communicate clearly and effectively for what I can feel, okay? And also, ask your angels, okay? Ask the angels for support, help, guidance, and advice, okay? That is what the angels want for this masculine, and for feminines, success, okay, there's a positive outcome coming, you know, for, for this, uh, you know, divine masculine's energy towards you. Even though that this masculine isn't really communicating to you clearly, you know, they will. And I see, and it came out a few times, you know, where I see that this masculine will uh, communicate their feelings towards you feminines, okay? Because they really want the Ten of Pentacles with you. They want that long-term a commitment with you and they see this okay and also and then your future okay so there is going to be success okay for this divine couple in the near future okay so don't worry be happy 
<laughs> so that's all I have for today's uh, guidance reading. Okay. So um, I really hope you enjoyed it. Uh, thank you all for all your comments, your likes, your shares, and your subscribes. And if you're new to my channel, welcome. I provide daily guidance messages here for the collective. And if you'd like to book a personal reading, you can reach me on my website. It's www.scorpiomoonintuition.com. And you can also follow me on IG at Scorpio Moon Intuition. I hope you all have a wonderful day and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.